Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Simon and I thought that I would could do a quick trailer run through, um, almost shot by shot, um, or at least I've picked up on some really important things that I missed the first time around so I thought it would be important for us to go through a quick uh, analysis of each of the important scenes that I think were in that trailer. So let's begin. Okay so the first shot we have here is of John's body. Um, as it was at the end of season five and it's reason to believe that everyone presumes he's dead he probably is dead at this point um and you know this is where we're going to pick up from in the first episode so yeah it looks like they've just left him there and maybe he gets picked up by davos or melisandre okay the next scene that we have is jamie trying to console cersei um, I've got a feeling this is the turning point for her in this season. She's just going to go absolutely crazy and, you know, just unleash her reign of terror upon King's Landing. She's lost two children. She's probably going to lose a third one this season, I think. The next shot that we've got is um, Davos and what I think looks kind of like a funeral pyre. Um, he stood over some uh, planks of wood. Whether that's the beginning of a funeral pyre, I've no idea. He's outside of... Um, Castle Black, which makes me doubt that that could be the funeral pyre of, uh, pyre for Jon Snow. I've just got absolutely no idea um, at all. So this is definitely interesting um, and makes me wonder what this could be. Okay, uh, we then move on to Ramsay along with his father Roos. Um, we've been told that there's going to be a big battle between the factions of the North and the Boltons. This could be them again preparing for battle similar to last season. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if we see Ramsay turn on Roos this season, or it could even be the other way around. Um, Roos is a smart man, he knows that his son is out of control, and he probably might try and stop him before he gets you know, too much power. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how they play out this season. We then got, uh, I'm assuming, the precedes of the battle. We've got some poor unfortunate man here who's been flayed and burnt. Um, I don't know who that is, whether it's anyone of importance or whether it's just a random soldier. Well, I guess we won't know until we see the show, but it looks like in the background we've got a line of soldiers who are ready to march into battle. Or they could have just been putting on a really public execution. I really don't know, but I'd say the battle is the most favourable one. Next we see Jorah and um, Dario, you know, trying to find Daenerys. It looks like they find one of the um, the bracelets or the lockets that she has. Um, we don't get to see too much. I'm wondering how much of the grayscale um, is going to affect Jorah this season. Will we see him live out the season? Will they find Daenerys or will Daenerys find them? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Speaking of Daenerys, we see her in the Dothraki Horde. It definitely does not look like she's being treated like a Khaleesi. Um, makes you wonder where her dragons are. I, but I know we've got two of them locked up. But Drogon was with her moments before she got captured. Um, and yeah, I guess we're just going to have to see. I think the very next shot is the shot of a dragon. Um, probably Drogon flying overhead. So we'll have to see what happens there. Um, but she's definitely not going to stay as a... <laughs> almost like a prisoner of the Dothraki. I think she's probably going to take control of the army. The Dothraki army that there seems to be there. And maybe that's how she'll get across to Westeros. So up next we see the Sparrow and we hear him talk about bringing down an empire. Now if you look at that it looks like he's speaking to someone from the Kingsguard from what we can see from the um, armour plating on the left hand side. So whether he's speaking to Jamie, I'm not entirely certain. He could be speaking to someone else in the Kingsguard but um, I can only really think of Jamie who would be on screen at that point. Okay, this is an interesting scene. We are in the Iron Islands. We can tell from the, um, the sigils on the flags. They are the Kraken. It looks like we've got the priest from the first, uh, I think it was the second season, um, who drowned Theon. Whether that's going to happen again, I'm not entirely certain. Um, but we do see later on in the trailer a scene where Theon is being almost baptised in a way. But we do know there is going to be a King's Moose and we're going to see Euron Greyjoy this season. So maybe this could be the King's Moose as well. Next we see Sansa. Um, now what I think happens is if we look at her background it looks like she's um, in a very dark place. I think that's Castle Black from the the gaps in some of the, the paneling in the background she's wearing a thick wool coat um so i think that she's made it to castle black and i think when we hear davos say at the start of the trailer he's gone i think he's talking to sansa 
And I think where Sansa's going to gain a lot of respect is her handling of um, her situation at Castle Black and maybe uh, the Night's Watch. So it'll be interesting to see what happens, but I do believe that's where she's going to head um, up north. And shortly after that, we uh, hear Tyrion speaking, and we see him what looks like um, he's in the dungeons where the dragons were left, so maybe he's going to try and coerce one of the dragons, which I would not recommend Tyrion, because they do not take kindly to anyone other than their mother. We see um, Lancel asking the Queen to stand down, otherwise they will resort to violence, and the Queen is more than happy to resort to the violence, because she has the de- the undead mountain behind her. Um, I mean, my word, does Gregor... Gregor has never looked so intimidating in gold armour with zombified eyes and zombified flesh. Um, I don't know why, where they're heading to. Are they heading to the Sparrow? Um, I've got a feeling Lancel's probably going to die, but we'll have to wait and see, I guess. But either way, the mountain's going to play a big role. And, um, yeah, looks like Cersei's going to use him to full effect. Now, this is the most important part of the trailer, and this is what I originally missed. Um, I thought this was just a generic starting battle scene, but if you look here, you can see that it's the person standing in the front, to the very left, is wearing Stark armour, and has hair that looks suspiciously like Ned Stark's. I believe that this is um, at the Tower of Hope, where Ned and six other of his uh, allies join forces to fight the last of the king's guard um they are presumably protecting john snow um if you are up to date with the um r <laughs> the r and l equals j theory then you know you would have believed that liana is in the tower of hope she's just given birth to john snow and ned is going to try and rescue her um so i think this is the beginnings of that battle scene there We get a lot of action scenes in a short space of time. We see ships flying over stormy seas, or should I say sailing over stormy seas. I've got a good reason to believe this is the introduction of Euron Greyjoy. Um, I'm not entirely certain that the Greyjoys are going to go to war this season, but I do think that we are going to get um, his arrival maybe mixed in at the same time as Balon's death, because Balon does die during a storm, and this looks like the perfect conditions for those two events to happen at the same time. Maybe it's symbolic. Uh, we then get that scene that I was talking about with um, Theon, where he's getting almost uh, baptized. I'm assuming whether it's drowned or baptized by the priest. If you look in the top, uh, you know, to the figure to the right, he's got very similar beard and and uh, very similar robe to the priest we saw um, when this happened the first time around. I think it was in the second season. Also, the soldier on the left has uh, the Kraken sigil on his armor. So um, yes, this looks like it's going to happen that way. Here we see Brienne. We're not entirely certain where her loyalties lie because she's completed one of her oaths in bringing justice to Stannis, but she is still on the lookout for Sansa. She's still waiting for that signal in the um, in the Watchtower, which she missed. And whether she finds out that Sansa has escaped, we won't know. But I'm assuming that she's battling Bolton men here. Maybe she joins forces with Sansa at the uh, at the Wall. Who knows? And here we seem to have the. Um, the very beginnings of a battle with Bolton men. We can see the Bolton shields here, and I'm assuming it looks like on the right there's a mixture of all sorts. It could be wildlings, it could be different clans of the north. Some of them look rugged, some of them look uh, more armoured up. It's difficult to tell, but um, they are very, very close together. I think this is going to be um, quite an epic season. Saying that, I'm looking at this now, and I'm looking at the way that the shields seem to form around it's almost as if they're forming a circle as if they've surrounded them it seems like a very small army if that's the case so maybe it's something different i guess we'll just have to again wait and see now first i thought this was melisandra um i'm not entirely certain um having looked back i don't know who the other person in the scene is whether that's a man or a woman i'm not entirely certain that you could almost say that looks a bit like yara on the right but I don't know. I never had her down as being on that side of the team. Um, but, you know, anything can happen in this series. Um, let me guys, let, let me know what you guys think or who you guys think this is. And again, going back to uh, support my theory, we quite obviously have here Kingsguard. Um, and this is Ned here on the right battling um, 
I'm not entirely certain as to which member of the King's Guard this will be, but you can see the Targaryen um, sigil on their chest plates. Very interesting design for the King's Guard armor. They don't seem to be very similar at all to the current day King's Guard armor, which, you know, I know that Robert Baratheon really held a grudge against the Targaryens, but he seemed to just completely revamp um, their armor completely. It's going to be interesting to see. I don't think that it's going to be Sean Bean who's come back to um you know to reprise his role it's probably going to be a younger actor um again it's something whether we see his face directly or whether this is just going to be a quick flashback scene we won't really know we'll just have to wait and see but this at least confirms the tower of joy and that we are going to see ned in some form this season uh coming towards the end of the trailer we see marjorie almost as if she's begging for forgiveness it looks like she's reconciled with the sparrow um it was rumored that she was going to convert um, in order to escape whether she actually does convert or not is another question um, but it looks definitely like she's worming her way out of this situation by joining with the sparrow we'll just have to see how that develops okay the second to last uh, scene that i really want to highlight obviously here is bran being face to face with the white walkers it's not just the uh the king of the knights war walk of uh, the sorry of the um the White Walkers, it's also, as you can see in the background, there are some other White Walkers there as well. This is most likely a vision because uh, Bran is standing up. And uh, unless he's somehow magically regained the ability to walk, I would assume that uh, this is just him uh, having a vision. Maybe he's seeing the future. Maybe he's seeing what will happen if the wall falls. And if the Knights... Uh, I keep saying the Knights Watch. I mean to say the White Walkers if they do come south. And finally, the last shot of the of the trailer uh, we see davos standing over the body of john snow um who is quite dead in this shot but i got a feeling he won't remain that for long uh, we see davos grab longclaw and from there he intimates that he's going to have to unfortunately resort to violence whether it's against the people in the room i'm not entirely certain um i would assume so because it looks like he's getting surrounded there is a, a particularly mean looking fellow just on the right hand side there looks like he wants to do some unsavory things to davos um, but with long claw in hand i'm sure that davos will find his way out so yes ladies and gentlemen um that was a very interesting trailer having looked back and analyzed it it's a lot more uh, detail than i first assumed so i'm a lot I'm, I'm just so excited for this season i can't wait to see what happens and um, it is a shame that the book wasn't you know wasn't able to be released before the season started but i just can't wait for the next season to begin so bring it on as always thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this um, i hope that it's been a little bit more informative for you guys let me know what you thought in the comments below please check out my other uh, my other content my other videos hit that subscribe button if you like what you see and you uh you have a good day